we are going to study few more topics of complex number. So the first topic we are going to study is different form of complex number. First one is Cartesian or a rectangular form. If x and y are real numbers, then z is equal to x plus y y is called Cartesian or a rectangular form of complex number. Okay, this we have already studied. Now the next is polar form of complex number. So let z is equal to x plus y y. Okay, and x suppose x as r cos theta and y as r sin theta. Okay, substitute over here. So z is r cos theta plus i times r sin theta. Take out r common. Okay, so z is what r times cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay, so this is a polar form of complex number. Okay, it is symbolically written as r angle theta. Alright, now let's study how to multiply and divide a complex number in polar form. Okay, so consider z1 and z2. Okay, so z1 is r1 cos theta1 plus i times sin theta1 and z2 is r2 cos theta2 plus i sin theta2. Okay, so firstly we have to multiply z1 and z2, right? So this r1 and r2 will write it together. Okay, so z1 into z2, r1, r2 write down together. Okay. Now multiply this two bracket. So first we'll take cos theta 1, okay, and multiply with this 2. So what you will get? Cos theta 1, cos theta 2, okay, plus i times cos theta 1, sin theta 2, okay. Now take this i sin theta 1 and multiply with this, okay. So you will get here i sin theta 1, cos theta 2, okay plus here i square and sin theta 1 sin theta 2 okay now we know i square is minus 1 okay so what we means is real part is what cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 this is the real part okay so r1 into r2 so cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 okay Take out i common, okay, so from this I will write over, over here first term this, that is sin theta 1 cos theta 2 plus cos theta 1 sin theta 2, okay. Now this is the formula of cos theta 1 plus theta 2, okay, and this is the formula of sin theta 1 plus theta 2, okay. So in case of this we will write cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i sin theta 1 plus theta 2. So, this is the multiplication of Z1, Z2 in polar form. Now, Z1 upon Z2, okay. So, Z1 upon Z2, Z1 is R1 cos theta 1 plus I sin theta 1, okay. Upon Z2 is R2 cos theta 2 plus I sin theta 2, okay. Now, whenever we have complex number in denominator, okay, so we have to take contribute, right. So, this is cos theta 2 minus i sin theta 2 upon cos theta 2 minus i sin theta 2, okay. So, now z1 upon z2, okay. So, r1 upon r2. Now, multiply two terms in the numerator. So, you will get cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus i cos theta 1 sin theta 2. Okay, now this i sin theta 1 with these two terms, so you will get plus i sin theta 1 cos theta 2, okay, and here minus i square sin theta 1 sin theta 2. And in the denominator, what we have cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 into cos theta 2 minus i sin theta 2. So we will use this formula. That is a plus b into a minus b will give you a square minus b square. Okay. So here we have cos square theta 2 minus i square sin square theta 2. Okay. Now substitute i square is equal to minus 1 in both the term. Okay. So in denominator we have cos square theta 2 plus sin square theta 2 which is 1. Okay. So and in numerator we have cos theta 1 cos theta 2 plus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 which is a formula of 
cos theta 1 minus theta 2 okay take out plus i common so we have sin theta 1 cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 sin theta 2 this is the formula of sin theta 1 minus theta 2 okay so in this way we can write z1 upon z2 in polar form now the next form is exponential form okay so let z is equal to x plus i by okay we have to take x as our cos theta and y as our sin theta okay so z is what take out r common so this is cos theta plus i sin theta okay now we know that cos theta plus i sin theta is e raised to i theta which is a Euler's formula for complex number okay so z is what r e raised to i theta this is a exponential form of complex number all right now we know that e raised to i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta okay so e raised to minus i theta will be cos theta minus i sin theta okay now add this two term okay so this i sin theta will get cancelled so what we have 2 cos theta is equal to e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta make cos theta as a subject so you will get 1 by 2 e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta okay similarly if you will subtract them so and find sin theta so the answer of sin theta will be 1 upon 2 i into e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta okay so we have to remember this two as a form all right now let's discuss the modulus and argument of complex number okay so z is equal to x plus i by this is a cartesian form okay and in polar form we can write as z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta okay so where r is what it is under root of x square plus y square and this we can write as mod z and this is known as a absolute or a modulus value of z okay and so uh, x is what it is r cos theta okay and y is r sin theta so square them and add them so x square plus y square is what r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta you can take out r square common sin square plus cos square is 1 okay so r is what under root of x square plus y square and this is known as an absolute or a modulus value of z and its notation is mod z now theta is what tan inverse y by x this we can obtain by finding y upon x that is r sin theta upon r cos theta okay so this is tan theta right therefore theta is what tan inverse y upon x right so theta is tan inverse y upon x and this is argument of z okay now the principal value of argument of z is denoted by capital argument of z and it is defined as capital argument of z is equal to theta and theta is what tan inverse y upon x and the value of theta lies between open interval minus pi to closed interval pi. Okay, so whenever we have to find the principal value of argument of z, okay, so its notation is capital ARG of z, okay, and it is theta, right, and theta is then inverse y upon x. Now the general value of argument of z is denoted by small ARG of z and it is defined as plus or minus 2k pi okay in theta we have to just plus or minus 2k pi where k is from 0 1 to 3 and so on okay now uh, z is x plus i pi and is conjugate z bar okay this is x minus i pi now these two have the same moduli okay that is mod z and mod z bar is what same that is under root of x square plus y square now the arguments are equal in magnitude but they differ in sign okay that is argument of z is minus argument of z bar okay now for any complex number z is equal to x plus i bar modulus of z is greater or equals to modulus of real part of z and this is greater or equal to real part of z okay so this mod z is greater or equal to mod x okay and this is greater or equal to x because x is the real part of a complex number now 
mod z is greater or equals to mod of imaginary part of z okay and this is greater or equals to imaginary z that is mod z is greater or equal to mod y and this is greater or equals to y okay and mod z square is equal to z into z bar okay so these are the few properties which we have to remember now uh, let's discuss few more properties so if z1 and z2 are two complex number then first is triangular inequality that is mod of z1 plus z2 is less or equals to mod z1 plus mod z2 and mod of z1 minus z2 is greater or equals to mod of mod z1 minus mod z2 okay the third is parallelogram equality so mod of z1 plus z2 square plus mod z1 minus z2 square is equal to 2 times mod z1 square plus mod z2 square fourth is mod of z1 into z2 is mod z1 into mod z2 and mod of z1 upon z2 is equal to mod z1 upon mod z2 okay so these are the few properties which we have to remember now let's discuss the rules to find theta okay now theta is what tan inverse y by x now depending on the quadrant uh, we have to take theta okay so let's draw this diagram okay now this is the real axis okay and this is the imaginary axis now when x is greater than 0 y greater than 0 so x is greater than 0 y greater than 0 that is the first quadrant so in first quadrant theta will be tan inverse mod of y upon x now when x less than 0 y greater than 0 so x less than 0 and y greater than 0 that is the second quadrant okay so theta is what pi minus tan inverse mod of y upon x now the third case is for x less than 0 y less than 0 okay so x is less than 0 y is also less than 0 that is third quadrant and in third quadrant theta is minus pi plus tan inverse y by x okay and a uh, fourth case in which x is greater than 0 and y is less than 0 okay so theta is what minus tan inverse mod of y upon x so according to this four quadrants we have to remember the value of theta right now let's discuss few example first one is express the complex number under root 3 minus i in polar form okay so now general form is x plus i by so we will compare this with this term okay so from this we can say that x is equal to root 3 and y is equal to minus 1 okay now first we will find r so r is what under root of x square plus y square okay so this is under root of here root 3 square okay plus minus 1 square so this is 3 plus 1 that is under root 4 so answer is what 2 now theta is what tan inverse y by x okay but now here as we can see that x is greater than 0 okay x is greater than 0 and y is negative okay y negative x positive that is fourth quadrant right so as x is greater than 0 y is less than 0 so the point is in the fourth quadrant right so for fourth quadrant theta is minus tan inverse mod of y upon x okay so this is minus tan inverse mod here we have minus 1 upon root 3 so this is minus tan inverse mod of 1 upon root 3 right so this answer is minus pi by 6 okay so the theta is what minus pi by 6 now the polar form is what r cos theta plus i sin theta okay answer of r is 2 so here 2 cos of minus pi by 6 plus i sin minus pi by 6 okay now we know that cos is a even function and sin is a odd function okay so this is 2 times here cos pi by 6 okay sin is odd function so negative sign will come outside so minus i sin pi by 6 right so this is the polar form of a complex number now 
Let's discuss one more example. Find the polar form of a complex number z is equal to minus 2 upon 1 plus i root 3 and we have to also find the general value and the principal value of argument of z. Okay. So firstly z is given minus 2 upon 1 plus i root 3. Okay. Now, as we have complex number in the denominator, we have to find the conjugate that is 1 minus i root 3 multiply and divide by this, okay. So, now in numerator, just simply multiply it. So, this is minus 2 plus 2i under root 3, okay. And in denominator, we have to use the formula a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square. So, 1 square, okay, minus i root 3 square okay so what you will get over here minus 2 plus 2 i root 3 okay and in denominator here 1 i square okay that is minus 1 so it will become plus and 3 so here we have 4 so simplify this so this is minus 1 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 i now we will compare this with x plus i by okay so the answer of x is minus 1 by 2 and y is root 3 by 2 okay now let's find r so r is under root of x square plus y square okay so this is under root of here 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 okay so this is 4 upon 4 under root 1 so answer is 1 now we will find theta. Now as you can see that x is less than 0, okay, x is less than 0 and y is greater than 0. So I will draw over here, okay, x is less than 0 and y is greater than 0, that is a second quadrant, right? So this lie in second quadrant, okay, so in second quadrant, theta is what? Pi minus 10 inverse mod of y upon x, okay. So, this is pi minus 10 inverse here. Y is root 3 by 2, okay. So, root 3 by 2 upon minus 1 by 2, okay. So, this is pi minus 10 inverse mod root 3. This 2 will get cancelled. So, we have mod root 3. So, this answer is pi minus 5 by 3, okay. So, on simplification, you will get 2 pi by 3, okay. Now first we will write this complex number in the polar form, okay. So z is what r cos theta plus i sin theta, right. So substitute the value r is 1, so this is cos 2 pi by 3 plus i sin 2 pi by 3. So this is the answer in polar form. Now we have to find the general value and principal value of argument of z, okay. So this theta is the principal value okay so principal value right of argument of z that is capital arg of z okay this is theta and that is 2 pi by 3 okay and the general value of argument that is small arg of z this is theta plus or minus 2 k pi okay so this is 2 pi by 3 plus or minus 2k pi, okay? So, this is the principal and the general value of argument of z, okay? Now, suppose if exponential form is asked in this question, okay? So, how you will write? So, exponential form of z is r e raised to i theta, okay? Substitute the answer of r and theta, okay? r is 1, theta 2 pi by 3, so answer of z is e raised to i 2 pi by 3. If exponential form is asked, you can use this formula to find its form. Alright. Now, let's discuss one more example. Is argument of Z1, Z2 equals to argument of Z1 plus argument of Z2? Okay, we have to just define this. So, first of all, we will write Z1 and Z2 in exponential form. So, this is R1 e raised to i theta 1 into R2 e raised to i theta 2. Okay. This is R1, R2, e raised to i, we can take out common, so theta1 plus theta2. Now we will apply uh, argument on both the sides, so you will get argument of z1, z2, okay, and argument of this is what, theta1 plus theta2. Now we know that theta1 is what, argument of z1, okay.
area and theta 2 is what argument of z2. Hence we have proved that argument of z1, z2 is equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2. Right? So I hope you have understood throughout the session. Thank you for watching.